evening and welcome to Community Dialogue Naranda Zim Naranda with me, your host, Brian Marvin K. Setole, a show where we talk about issues that are happening within our communities. And tonight we are discussing a very pertinent issue. We have um, seen a statement that has been issued by the Zimbabwe National Army where they have um, spoken about the increase in bogus recruitment agencies who are fleecing members of the public of their hard-earned cash, uh, claiming that they are recruiting uh, on behalf of the Zimbabwe National Army. And I'm glad to be joined in the studio this evening by the spokesperson for the Zimbabwe National Army, um, Colonel Alpheus Makotori. Good evening, sir, and welcome to ZFM. Uh, good evening, and I'm glad to be here, viewers and listeners. All right, uh, Kenno, let's get uh, right into it. But before we do that, maybe, could you say, Kwami, how are things? Kwami, good, right. The soldiers are marching. Yes, I know those are criminals. The genuines don't do that. They just come straight and we talk to them and recruit them. All right, now let's get into our conversation. Now, we understand that currently the Zimbabwe National Army is recruiting. But however, as you recruit, you are also seeing certain elements who are fleecing people of their identification, as I said in, as I said in the beginning. Can you tell us more about these challenges? What challenges are they bringing to your recruitment process? Yeah, actually, as the Zimbabwe National Army, we have uh, got the mandate to recruit and keep on beefing the army so that we be able to defend the nation, so that we protect our sovereignty. But as we do that, no, because there are certain criminals of certain people, fraudsters and conmen who take advantage. And we have noted with concern the increase in the numbers of those bogus recruiting agents. And they target unsuspecting members of the society to fleece them of their hard-earned money. You know, these criminals, what they mm. do, you know, they pause as uh, recruitment officers. They go there, out there and they start conducting unofficial programs. They, as if they are recruiting... And in the process, they demand money from prospective candidates. Mm. Yes. Okay. Also, they are actually making a living out of this. Uh, but uh, you mentioned that they are criminal elements. Pretty much at the end of the day, they are criminals. Yes. Are any of them serving members of the army? Are they former members of the army? Where are they coming from? Uh, here and there, you get, you know, not necessarily serving members. There are some members who desert or who go out, who leave the army. On leaving the army, such a member is. If his source of income sort of dries up and he thinks of these you no know, these nefarious activities. Such members, you know, these are uh, bogus soldiers or rogue soldiers, we get them as well. People who have already left employment. Mm. So they become criminals and they know the system. So they try to cheat people. They will come to you to say they are still in the army. And after having known them for some time, you think they are still serving. And they do that. Mm. And we, we, we see adverts um, fly it on social media, especially throughout the year. You come across so many of these adverts that, that are flighted um, of army recruitment. Do these come from you? Do you use social media when you're advertising my recruitment? Eye? You know, our recruitments are seasonal. We surely we can't be recruiting throughout the whole year, you mm. know. But these are scrupulous individuals that are using various tactics, including social media platforms. And they fly these fake recruitment notices and adverts to deceive the people into parting with their hard earned money in exchange for false promises of employment. So the ZNA we are raising these concerns because organization will be issuing out several warnings and notices, both in print and electronic media. Even here through ZFM we've issued warnings. However, members of the public continue to fall victim to mm -hmm. these criminals. And they have now become so daring that they, you know, through various software, they create adverts almost which are similar to ours through, you know, the digital divide which is there. People, some people cannot tell a fake and a genuine advert. So they present themselves for, for the potential recruits. And some of them have even gone to the extent of taking potential recruits to Lawa Yompilo Hospital. And I understand also in Gweru, they lie to you that they are doing medical examinations and they give you a fake medical certificate. Well done on a computer and you can't even uh, imagine that someone is faking you. So how about you in the hospital? They are yeah. that daring. They take you, they are so daring. They take you there and, you know, they come out with all those sorts of uh, 
false uh, narratives. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's let's look at uh, the the period that we are in. You have mentioned we we saw a statement that you issued. Since that statement has been issued, ha- have you made any success? Has there been any headway in terms of actually catching some of these people? Yes, the the catch word is there. What people have got to watch out is that if someone demands money from you, there is no way where we can charge money for someone to get employment in the army. So because of that, we have now sensitized the public. You know, last week we spent the whole of last week in the media telling people to desist from there. So because of that, we get cases. People are now coming forward to say so much. So I paid 500, I paid 300. We've got the latest case of someone called Timothy Ngulube, who has already been convicted. He's just a supervisor at some farm in Chegutu. And he comes from Binga, Matebele, North Province. He appeared before Lupani Majesty Courts facing <coughs> fraud charges. He falsely claiming that he was an officer of the ZNA with the authority to facilitate army recruitment. But accordingly, no, he was caught and he went to court and he was convicted. So just recently, 16th of September, that's when he was oh. caught and appeared in court. Okay. Yes. All right. And he was demanding money from people. So these adverts the genuine the programs we are doing and with your assistance they are helping us mm. and this is where we emphasize that we don't charge any fit for recruitment no training neither do we include third parties in our recruitment exercises all medical examinations are done by the army and there are no fees charged for the service so this is the reason main reason why when people know that there is no charge by the moment the criminal charges you just report to us, and we'll, we'll get hold of them. And we don't recruit outside camps. We do this in our camps, Zimbabwe National Army camps. Where there is no military camp, we utilize from our colleagues, we use the Zimbabwe Republic police, police camps. Mm. That's where we do our recruitment from. The army recruits from the camps. Yes. That's what I'm getting. Yes. Secondly, there are no payments. There's you don't no have payment. to pay anything no. for you to join the army. And thirdly, even the medical exams are done within um, the, the, the camps themselves, right? Exactly. No, no, You are not going anywhere. So as you go on the show... Um, I'm glad you started talking about this, about the work that you have been doing, you know, the press um, release and um, all these engagements that you have been conducting with the media. What else are you doing to ensure that the public is aware of these scandals and also that the public is aware of actual recruitments that are happening? Yeah, you know, these are people who continue to fall victim to these scams, but the public must also be vigilant and verify the authenticity of recruitment adverts or agent through the official ZNA channels. We are advising people not to entertain any requests for payment, as I said. But, you know, by simply checking the telephone numbers, our telephone numbers are public. All our programs are advertised in the mainstream print and electronic media. We don't advertise on social media. The prospective applicants will then respond with through written applications, after which selections are carried out at designated uh, training camps. We remain very committed to be seen and to remain professional. So, we have got a lot of programs which are going to do, we we'll do campaigns when we do career guidance, whereby we go to schools, colleges, universities, and the students come forward, their teachers, their instructors, their headmasters, and we tell them the correct procedure to be followed. We also go to ZITF, which is a Zimbabwe International Trade Fair, Harare Show, and all provincial shows throughout the provincial capitals where we tell people the right thing to do. So these are the campaigns we are going to we do. We equally engage our traditional leaders, the chiefs, the headmen. We have got the traditional leaders' day. Where the chiefs come and we discuss, we talk to them, they, and we equally tell them, You know, the traditional leaders are very influential. Mm. They go right down to the village, to the grassroots. And those people, they can actually tell you that this guy is a criminal. This guy is not a, a hard worker. Mm. So the chiefs also, they are assisting us to tell them of the correct procedure to be followed. 
All right. And then let's let's move a bit and um, look at the advert itself. Because like you mentioned, you also advertise yes. and you use mainstream media. Yes. But what are some of the features that members of the public should look out for when they see an advert for them to be able to tell that this is authentic, this is coming from the army? First of all, our adverts, it originates from the Directorate of Public Relations. Up there, it has got a logo. No, the Zimbabwe National Army logo. And then the way we write, we write it professionally. You know, social media, even today, any social media, if you check on the spellings, they are not edited. You can, a trained, a trained journalist can tell you this is a fake or an advertiser. And then at the end, we give our telephone numbers. The telephone numbers we always give, we give the telephone number for Army Recruiting Office, which I can repeat Mm. Which is zero two four two seven zero seven four five nine. One more time. Uh zero two four two seven zero seven four five nine. Or Army Public Relations Directorate on zero two four two seven hundred three one six. Army Public Relations zero two four two seven hundred three one six. Or cell number. That's my own cell number. People can phone me on zero seven one two. Two three six five nine seven. Those are the numbers we usually give. And then, if you want to go further, if you find someone is trying to cheat you, we have got the military police number hotlines mm. for the red beret. Mm. You know the red beret; they take no nonsense. Yeah. Yes. Zero two four two seven nine zero five nine one. One more time. Zero two four two seven nine zero five nine one. Or you phone directly on those direct numbers. Again, very hot lines. 0712-842-318. Or 0777-258-410. Our news releases, finally. News releases originating from the unpublished relations of the ZNA on any notice or any news release are signed by me. Mm. I put my signature there, handwritten signature, and I sign. Can I pass in a new signature? Can I pass in a signature? For now, I don't. Mm. We don't have to clone a signature. I sign that signature and we put the death stamp of that particular day. Right. So these are some of the features that you can look out for when it comes to um, any advert that you may come across uh, uh, purporting to be coming from the army. Look out for these features. If it fits within that, then you know. And you've also received the numbers as our viewers and listeners um, of how you can be able to, 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 to verify. But the last question I want to ask you as Director for Public Relations in the Army. We're just afraid of, of visiting the barracks, you know, of, of, of visiting um, army camps. What's your advice, members of the public, regarding that? And, uh, there is no need to fear. The Zimbabwe National Army is the people's army. You remember we came from the struggle where we have always been since then. We are the fish, the public is the water. We are your children, we are your daughters, your fathers, your uncles. You know, people who raise this narrative that, you know, it's fearsome to go to the barracks are the very criminals who they want you not to come to us directly. So they spread this uh, rumor and people, you know, people should come direct to us and seek employment. Mm. We are the people's army and I emphasize, we will always be the end. If I quote from the commander-in-chief, who is the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe, he is always says, we are going to leave no one behind. Mm. So in our recruitment, we are going to leave no one behind. Everybody from all corners of Zimbabwe, we are going to recruit. Right. Um, uh, thank you so much, Director, for coming. And uh, just for the information of our listeners, this is a series, so we'll be back with another episode. Uh, next week, we'll be looking at this issue. But thank you so much for coming um, through and having this conversation with me. Thank you very much. And I hope next week we are going to bring the military police they will be telling you the statistics. People have been arrested by name. All those have been convicted. The director of military police will be here to shed more light on the successes we are having. So the criminals, the fraudsters, the common watch out. Uh, definitely something to look forward to. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we had for this um, episode. And uh, if if anything, I'm excited about next week. We're going to be having the director of military police 
military military police coming through to also shed more light on this something to definitely looking forward to for now it's me your host brian marvin case to saying good night stay safe take care of yourselves and of each other bangu dasakura ndazunza